Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use VBA to create a cool effect in the annual training plan template that we created uh, way back when in Strength Coach Tutorials. And what this is gonna look like is down here where I have my different sections that I want to categorize and um, weight in terms of how important they are. I'm gonna use VBA to create an option where I can double click in the cell and automatically put values into the cell so that I can weight these values in my planning process. And that's just gonna be a little bit faster than me having to type the numbers in there. But because I'm using VBA, if I wanted to, I could still use my keyboard and put the numbers in there as well. Or I can double click. And on a double click, it's just gonna add one to any one of these values. And it's gonna be a really powerful trick. So let's get after it. Okay, so here we are and we're starting with a completed version of the annual, annual training plan template that I created way back when in the Strength Coach Tutorials video library. And if you want to see how we've gotten to this point, you can click the link that's going to appear on the screen right now and that will take you to the playlist for the annual training plan template and I will show you exactly how to create the whole thing so that you can get to where we are now. And if you've already created the annual training plan template, or you just wanna see how the VBA code works for this trick, then stick around because that's what we're gonna be doing today. So the effect that I want is down here on my annual training plan template. I have the different qualities that I might wanna train and I can type the values in here, but I wanna make this feel a little bit more like a software. And I wanna be able to do things with the mouse without having to use the keyboard. So um, I've developed a way to just sort of double click these cells and it's going to add a value into the cell. So we're going to use VBA code for that and it's going to create an event every time we click the cell. Before we get too far into the code, just a quick reminder that if you're finding any value in these videos, it would really help me out if you could like and share them with your colleagues and your friends and hopefully, hopefully bring more people to the channel so that we can... Um, continue to grow and I continue to put more time into the channel. So let's get after it. Um, in order to create some VBA code, we have to open up the VBA editor. So VBA stands for Visual Basic and um, that is the coding language that Microsoft um, Excel uses. And with that, you are able to do all sorts of different um, tasks. And today we're gonna do the double click cell value. So what I'm going to do is up here under the developer tab, you're going to click on Visual Basic and that's going to open a window that looks kind of like this. Now in this VBA project window, what you're going to see down the left hand side is you'll see the Excel sheet that you have open and then you'll see the Microsoft Excel objects and then you'll see the sheets and we're going to program on the SCT67 um, body sheet and then you'll see anything you can program for the whole workbook you could put there, but we're gonna program something that just works on this sheet. Now bear with me, I have a copy of the code that we're gonna use, and I'm gonna walk you through it sort of as we type it in. The one thing to note with VBA is that it is pretty case sensitive and syntax specific. So you're gonna to have to really make sure that you're typing things into your sheet um, almost exactly like I am so that it will work and then I will tell you where you can make some changes in the code to make it fit whatever sheet that you are using. So in order to um, start a VBA code we're going to call it a sub so we're going to type in private sub and then we're going to give this a name I'm going to call it worksheet double click. And I'll hit enter and what you're going to notice is that it's going to automatically put in an end sub and what this is going to do is anything I type between these two is actually what's going to get um, what's going to get acted upon when we run the code. Now normally to run a code we have to select the macro and click run but what we want to do is have this actually um, work when we double click. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to type something in these brackets here and it's going to be by val and target 
as range. And what this kind of means is that um, it's gonna run when the target or the, um, sorry, it's gonna run when the actual cell changes and it's gonna run when the range is changing. And then the next thing we need to put in there is cancel um, as Boolean. I spelled that wrong. I gotta make sure I spell that right. And what this means is um, the cancel value is either gonna have a true or a false. And we're gonna assign the cancel true at the end of this code so that it doesn't continue to run this code forever, okay? So that's those are two important factors and that's what really make this code run is the bival target as range and the cancel as boolean. So what this is doing is looking to see if the range is changing and then this is going to give our cancel value um, or assign our cancel value a true or a false and that allows us to stop the code from running for infinity and crashing the workbook. So the next thing we're gonna do is add some if statements into this code. So the first thing I wanna look for is if not, and I'm gonna look for intersect. And what intersect is gonna look for is if the value that I've clicked on is inside of a range that I'm defining, okay? So we've already defined target as a range, and so we're gonna use that again, T-A-R-G-E-T. And I wanna look if that is inside range and quotes F33 to BE37 and then end quotes and then close off the bracket. And so what this is doing is it is actually looking to see if the target that I've selected, okay, is inside of the range F33 to BE37. And if I just minimize this for one second, what you're gonna notice is F33 is the first value of where we have hypertrophy and BE37 is the last value of where we have peaking. So what we're looking for is if the target we've clicked on is inside of this range here. So you would basically make those values match whatever the spot on your sheet is that, is that you wanna be editing with the double click. So I'm gonna go back to the Visual Basic Editor and you can see it's highlighted in red right now because that doesn't make sense. So if not intersect is nothing, then, so what we're checking for, if that's nothing, then what we wanna do is I'm gonna turn on application enable events is false. equals false. And so what this is doing is just turning off all of the different events that could happen and just using the double click that we're looking for because this is also going to stop the sheet from continually running over and over and over again and per perhaps crashing the sheet, okay? So what we wanna do now is we wanna search and we wanna look if the active cell value is greater than or equal to five then. And what this part of the code is doing is checking that if the cell we're clicking on, if the value is equal to five, I'm gonna change it back to zero because when I'm programming out in my actual YTP sheets, I only give things a value of ranking between one and five, five being the least important, one being the most important. I never give anything a value of six or anything higher. So you could change this part of the code to be whatever you want or leave it out. So if it's equal to five, then what I wanna do is take that active cell dot value and make it equal to nothing. And it's the same as when we're doing formulas. Nothing is just two quotation marks. If it's not, then I wanna take that active cell dot value and I want it to be equal to active cell dot value plus one. So what this is doing is We've checked to see if the intersect that we've clicked on is in this range. If it is, and the cell is greater than or equal to five, then we want that cell to be nothing. If it's not, then we want that cell to be equal to itself plus one. So um, what that would do is add one, and then we can end this. We can end that if statement. And then we wanna cancel this whole thing. 
So because we've had cancel as Boolean, now we want to cancel the whole thing and turn off the actual um, formula. And then we can end our first if statement up here, the intersect. And then what I want to do is I want to turn my application enable events back on. Application.enable events equals true. And then I'll hit OK. So this is our code in order to make sure that when we double click, it is going to incrementally change the cell by one. Um, I just remembered one last thing up here where we have private sub and we named it worksheet underscore double click. This actually should be called before double click. And that is what tells the actual macro when to activate. So in terms of um, when we put worksheet in here and then before double click, it is going to activate on the double click. Initially I had it as double click, but it should actually say before double click. So let's check to see if this works. If I minimize this and go to my sheet, I should now be able to click. And as you can see, what it's doing every time I double click, it's adding one to that value. And as soon as it gets greater than or equal to five, it's going to actually clear the entire cell. And because we've done this through VBA, we still have the ability to use our keyboard and type in here and it would still work. I can click on any of these cells and I'll take whatever the value is in there and add one to it. So that's a really powerful way to start to add a little bit of sort of software type functionality to your sheet. And if we want to take this one level further, what I can do is I can highlight these cells and apply a conditional format to it. So I'll go to home, I'll go to conditional formatting, color scales, and maybe I'll pick this one here. And now as I click, you can see that it's highlighting the cells in different colors based on the values that are within it. And if I wanted to, I could just apply this to sort of each one of these cells and then copy this and then paste it all the way across, paste the formatting. And I'll just have to fix this um, bar at the end. Hit OK. So now anywhere that I kind of click on here, it's going to start to add those cells together and the formatting will always work. So that's just a quick way to add a little bit of VBA code to your actual sheet for um, a little bit of added extra functionality. And I think that this is a great addition to the annual training plan template. So I hope this video helps you out and helps you think of something creative for your templates. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below. If you could like and share this video, that would be really helpful for me. And I will see you in the next video.